Hello guys, welcome back to our JJJ Pan TV. Last time, namasyan tayo sa farmers market. This time, we're going to flea market. Here is in Gold, which is about 30 minutes from our place. And in the flea market, just like in the Philippines, we have the Divisoria. You can buy a lot of stuff in there in low prices. Market schedule is Tuesday and Wednesday from 7 to 2 p.m. It's also good to go there early para hindi kayo mayapan maghanap ng parking. I will show you later kung gaano kadami ang pumupunta doon. Puno yung parking nila. And it's good kung ang mapupuha mong spot is close to the market itself para kung marami kayong binili, hindi kayo mahirapang mag bit, bit But some vendors, tinutulungan din kayo doon in case na marami kayong binili, iniahati din naman kayo. So, see you then later guys. And, um, John again is our driver <laughs> as usual. So, just like what I said, hindi siya pwedeng humakap muna sa camera face to face. Ito muna ang start today. Kapag nagdadrive siya. Hindi masyadong mailit ang panahon ngayon. It's only about 63. 63 degree Fahrenheit. And I look up at the uh, weather today. Hanggang mga 90, 91 degree Fahrenheit lang. So, hindi masyadong kainitan. Unlike uh, the other day, nag 100 something. So, ito na yung way again. Going to Gulf or Flea Market. Maraming pa mga vacant lot dito. Sila, maraming mga... Kung nakikita yun nasa dulo, yun ang mga grapes. Grape farm. Yan. Ito yung um, way going to Flea Market. Malapit na tayo. Mag-exit na tayo. We are here in Central Gulf. Exit. going to right if I'm not mistaken dito sa A sa pangalawa so first stop light and then dun sa second dun tayo mag right stop muna red so ang, ang mag right tayo sa C street central gulf stop tayo today I stop tayo then go so yeah, ang exit natin uh, going to the right is C, San, uh, Street Central Gulf. So, tayo mag-right. C Street. So, nandiyan yung McDonald's. Yan ang landmark mo. Yes, McDonald's. McDonald's. Malapit Tapos, ka na. Tapos, yung first street, make a left right away dito. So, ang, ang sign mo naman dito is uh, Civic Drive, which Ang street is Civic Drive and then naman mag left Tapos makikita mo na ang uh, flea market Yan na yung flea market Matutumbok mo na So ang parking dito is uh, napalibutan ang ano ang uh, flea market ng parking area So pwede na tayong maghanap ng ating parking dito So we're going to observe still our COVID precautions but uh, as you know, so market six feet distancing, um, I don't think so. <laughs> but just wear your mask. And then also touch only that thing that you're gonna buy. Isang magandang ano din yun, huwag niyong hawakan din lahat yung mga items nila in case yun yung gusto mo bilhin. So ayun na yung flea market. Papasok tayo mamaya dyan. So papasok na tayo sa market. Ang landmark mo naman papasok is yung library nila dito. So, pag nakita mo yung library, itong entrance. So, papasok na tayo sa flea market at bawat uh, side niya may mga number ang gate. So, masyado kasing malaki din yung space or malaki yung place. So, meron kayong palatandaan kung anong gate kayo pumasok. So, alam mo yung palabas. So, papasok tayo sa gate number 5. Um, aga pa so halos nagpiprepare pa lang sila nagbababa ng kanilang mga tinda 
eto wala pa silang tinda hindi pa sila ready and look marami din silang mga plants dito sa flea market ayan si Joan so oh may persimmon pwede tayong bumili siguro ng persimmon marami pang walang tinda and not that much people so ang magkakalapit lang is siyempre yung family they cannot be like um, six feet apart from each other eto yung tindahan ng mga karting dito kami bumibili ng mga karting minsan pang pang ship sa Pilipinas just like the Bisoria pero hindi ganun kadaming tao ang narito today and kung makikita nyo 6 feet distance hindi na rin masyado uh, especially yung family syempre magkakalapit sila and right now we are here in the cartain store I don't know what's the name of the store <laughs> so hi sir good morning thank you for allowing us so he has a lot of blanket cartains and we buy here some of the items we ship in the Philippines so it's just like the Bisoria so mga blanket marami nang napili si Joan ng mga blanket we're going to ship some of this to Philippines magkano nga per blanket heart? Um, it costs only six dollar so namili na siya it's a twin what? Twin size. It's a twin size. Pang isahan lang. Six dollar each. Kahit ano mas maganda? Ito, mm. dinosaur or ito? Okay lang kahit ano. Dinosaur, maganda din. Ah. And so we're done buying our items. Blankets. And so we'll see how much we spend on this blanket. Oh my god, 76 for 8 blankets. Thank you. Bibili naman si Joan ng mga pamaypay. Ito yung mga pamaypay na pinapadala natin sa Pilipinas. Iba't iba siya mga items. Mga must also over there. These are the how much is a pack? Five dollars for one. This one dozen, right? So five dollar each. Pack. Meron silang face mask. Five dollar each. Marami silang tindang mask. So we're done buying the pan. We spent $35 And how much we spent? $35? $35 for all those um, For all those For my pie Ilang pieces heart? Um, 3 pieces for mama And uh, 4 pieces for us So 7 pieces For $35 Ayan, meron na si Jo ang bit bit Or hila hila Mga blanket and for my pie Walk out flea market dito sa Galt Kaya lang at this time, konti pa lang yung mga bumibili. And then, yung mga nagtitinda, hindi pa rin masyadong nag-open lahat. And also, according to them, they just opened two weeks ago also. May mga tinda sila ng mga gamit sa kusina. Meron tayong nakita dito yung bilihan ng halaman. Actually, we're looking for a persimmon tree para maiplant natin sa backyard. Wala tayong persimmon tree, so we'll see if there is a persimmon plant over here. So ito yung mga tinda nila mga plants. May guava, guava tree. Tinatanong ni Joan kung mayroong persimmon tree. Ito yung mga plant trees nila. May apple, green apple. Mayroon ding mga pears or peach. And mayroong persimmon. Isang puno na lang yung natira na persimmon. Mayroon siyang persimmon. Isang puno na lang. But it costs $70.
doon sa isang store 58 lang so we're gonna go back there to buy that uh, persimmon na kami sa another store at dito na natin bibili yung persimmon tree natin it cost so 58 sa kabila is 70 so dito is 58 yeah Ayan ang pataas siya. Yan na lang. So, we're buying our persimmon tree. Uh, sir allowed us to also video. Okay. So, we bought our persimmon tree. $58. dollars hey, the, and the B1. And the B1. Oh, so the $150. And fail. No fail, no go. Oh, <laughs> Okay, okay thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, dito na tayo sa car. Nabili na natin yung ating persimmon tree. Pero, hindi ko alam kung paano natin lalagay sa ating car. And, our blankets. So, naiload ko na sa van ang ating persimmon tree. Dinala ko na rin yung mga blankets. So, babalik tayo kasi nandun pa sila, Joan. Dito sa sides, marami mga wild grapes. Kung makikita nyo, marami siyang mga wild grapes over here. Green. And ito na yung isa sa mga entrance. And papasok tayo sa gate number 5. At tindahan ng toys. May mga toys dito. And we also bought our umbrellas here before. So, marami sila mga toys. We're looking for some toys for Jork and John Hart. Pinakita ka ng laruan para sa mga bata. Sige, pili lang tayo. Ito yung binili namin last time. Trumpo. Maraming trumpo. Spinner. Top spinner. So, Joan is calling Jork and Jonard. Ang bili nila is tawagan sila pag nasa store na ng toys. And then they will choose which one. Pipili na lang daw sila. So, ipapakita ni Joan kung ano yung available. And then sasabihin nila kung gusto nila or hindi. Hold on, kuya. So, Jork, which one you want? Yeah. Which one you want? The boxing, okay, punching. Yeah. Okay, the punching bag. All right. So, are you okay with this uh, design, the army and the American? It's American and the army, baby. Are you yeah. okay with that? Okay. Okay. Bye, bye. See you later. Bye, bye, baby. Where are you? Bye. So we buy this. How much is this, sir? Eighteen. Eighteen each. Okay. So this one is eighteen dollars. Per, per bag is 18 so we bought it 36 how much is the sanitizer 56 10 dollars 10 dollar per bag 36 46 56 yes okay so we have 56 spent on this uh punching bags and sanitizer <laughs> Is that? That's hand sanitizer. That's already one? Yeah, 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 yeah. And now we're paying it. So, thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. So, nabili na namin yung pinabibili ni Jorek na punching bag. Thank you. Tigi sa yung dalwa. So, we spent with the sanitizer $56. Wow! So, kung nagugutom na kayo, pwede kayo mag-stop by. Bumili kayo ng pagkain. Meron dito mga available Chinese food. Meron dito ng tindang mga chicken, donuts, fried rice. Pang ulam na din. Meron na rin silang tindang barbecue. So, pag nagugutom kayo, yan. Tigil lang kayo, pili lang kayo ng kung anong gusto niyong kainan. So dito, meron silang bentang mga bags. Take the 
Meron silang gamit pang cellphone. Meron silang mga construction stuff. Cash lang ang pwedeng gamitin dito. You can only use cash, um, but they also have ATM machine where you can withdraw some money. So, nandun yung sasakyan. So, kami nag-park. So, ang location na ito is paikot lang. Tapos, ang parking naman is uh, paikot din. Uh, no fee. Walang bayad sa, ano, sa parking. Meron silang banyo. Para sa babae at saka sa lalaki. So, meron silang gamit ng mga sasakyan. So, ikot lang tayo. So, they also have um, stuff for the house. So, they have their pricing. $1, $2 to $3. And then he gets you. Oh, I think I need that one. <laughs> so, meron din silang mga fruit stands. Ito, mga prutas. Uh, they have mango, they have watermelon, pineapple, tomato, grapes. They also have coconut. I'm gonna come on here. So meron sila ang Hi, how are you today? Good. You got nothing to huh? Beautiful. Yeah. 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 Bandang gitna yung kainan. Meron din silang bentang ng ganitong sasak kambata. Toys. Ang mga fruit stand nila nasa bandang gilid. It's on the end side. A lot of mangoes, pineapple. They are at the end corner for the vegetable. Food court is on the middle side. So it's already uh, it's nine o'clock in the morning. The parking here is uh, almost full already, or maybe full by now. So we're here, like we said, every uh, entry has a gate number. So you know where you're gonna be heading out. So this is gate three. Ours was uh, gate five. Gate three is when you get in, it's where the fruits are at. So we are here at gate two. So uh, coming in from gate two, if you make a right all the way to the end, that's where you see the ATM machine. <laughs> So it's right there. So if you're coming from gate 2, you will have a restroom on the left side, which is that building right there. 
also have uh, sunglasses. They also have luggage bags. They also have a uh, sound system. Oh, nice. They have clothes. And if you need the cart, they also have a cart if you left behind your cart and you want to buy your uh, cart, they also have it here. Mayroon din silang mga tindang furniture here in Galt. So, ito yung kanila mga sofa. And this black is good. I like this. And um, I'm not sure about the price. So, yan. Mayroon din silang mga furniture. Marami din mga figurine over here. Mga pang display. Pero may net. So, we're gonna go inside. May mga religious items din. So, ito yung mga images. Mama Mary. So, kailangan natin ng tali o rope para doon sa punching bag ni na Jorik and Jonard is um seven dollars tapos na tapos na ang shopping natin sa gold so kawin na tayo so nakapag hand sanitize na tayo so from exit ito yung sign ninyo sa C street tayo then FM bank dyan tayo papasok nadaan lang tayo ng kainan sa McDonald's ang pinakamalapit. Ang McDonald's hindi pa open for dining inside. So magtetekay lang tayo. We're going back home. Exit tayo dito sa C Street. Ayan. And we're going to Freeway na tayo sa left side. Freeway, left side. Going sa Camero. Yung araw na yun, North Sacramento. To North Sacramento. And, uh, dire-direct silang ito pag uh, turn left natin. Ah!